perfect outcome to all things is a show. Every day Because my faith Leads away A perfect outcome To all things Is a show In every situation There's a blessing somewhere Come gather brothers and sisters And we'll see that it is there Ooh, I need you You need me Yes you do and that's how our happiness is guaranteed. <laughs> Take it, boys. <laughs> and now, in all your doings, be you blessed. Through you is ushered in a world unseen, unheard, yet truly there. Holy are you, and in your light, the world reflects your holiness. For you are not alone and friendless. I give thanks for you and join your efforts on behalf of God, knowing that they are on my behalf as well, and for all those who walk to God with us. Sing it with God, God. A perfect outcome to all things is a show. A perfect outcome to all things is a show. Every day, because my faith leads the way, a perfect outcome to all things is assured. <laughs> a perfect outcome to all things yeah, yeah, is assured. <laughs> we are so glad you're here. Welcome yeah. to the Mighty Companions Hour, all my hey. wee doggies. <laughs> hey, everybody. Wow. What a lovely, I know. lovely, lovely day in the sanctuary, as always. But uh -huh. wow, I felt so moved We're and always, inspired. Uh, and and yeah, starting the right off life. the day today with Sina's, um I know. Uh, gift of the Radiant I Sutras. Our new obsession. Yeah, truly. Um, <laughs> it really, really is. I know. Uh, and I feel so drawn to it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to, mm -hmm. during my little meditation moment here, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, sing one sing of about the... goblins, I think. Yeah. I think we're going to, uh, I think we're going to sing be, about goblins, aren't we? It's going to be the banter versus 1314, okay. which is okay. fun. I really love that. So let's see, <laughs> yeah. what, let's see what happens. Yeah, let's see what happens. <laughs> But so, also, like, I want to really thank Reverend Michelle Costa for what an incredible homily and yeah, and an inspiration for us again. Well, the music that everyone picks in the sanctuary, you know, Sina and all the ministers and everybody that mm -hmm. uh, gives a homily and everything mm -hmm. are so inspiring, so great. It's mm -hmm. like we discover new things and new rediscover. artists and then we rediscover remember and right? remember like uh all these wonderful oh, songs that we grew yeah. up with so, so we have a treat for you so we do have a treat for you today we are going to sing uh everyday people as a sing-along let's see if we can put it in the chat i don't know if we can but we try to um so if you can sing along. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, Michelle's here and Connie's here. Hey, everybody. Hey, hey, hey. I know. <laughs> I, you want to do a sing along? Uh, yeah, we're going to do. So we just put this in the chat. Uh, Let's see if it goes. Reverend okay. Michelle. You, and you can even play along. <laughs> so yes. the keys the keys are in there. It's got the guitar, of course. So you, 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 you want to play along? All right. Let's see. Now, let me bring the... Um, the uh verse, verses um, the so so maybe this words. will be an opportunity to think about the, to listen to the words again yeah exactly so this is but it's it's so fun to say and to think about and i just thought it'd be cute on the ukulele because <laughs> it's Cause ukulele because it's cute uh -huh. <laughs> here we go <laughs> sing with us Ooh, sha -sha. I'm right, and I can be wrong. My own beliefs are in my 
saw The butcher, the banker, the drummer and them Makes no difference what group I'm in Except the green one for living with the fat one that's trying to be a skinny one. Different strokes for different folks, and so on and so on. And Scooby Dooby Doo, ooh, sha sha. We got to live together. I am no better, too, and neither are you. We are the same, whatever we do. You love me. You hate me, you know me, and then You can't figure out what bag I'm in Cause I am everyday people Yeah, yeah There is a long hair that doesn't like the short hair For being such a rich one That will not help the poor one Different strokes for different folks and so on and so on and scooby dooby doo Ooh, sha sha We got to live together There is a yellow one that can't accept the black one That won't accept the red one That won't accept the white one Different strokes for different folks And so on and so on and scooby dooby doo Sha sha, we got to live together. Cause I am everyday people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I am everyday people. <laughs> you get to sing along? You get the sha shas and the Scooby Dooby Doos in there. I love that. And I know. I've I, always loved that song. I, I just thank you so much, Reverend Michelle, for bringing it back to me today. I just, you know, those words, you know, uh, describing Bob all the dance. different. Uh, there you go. Yeah, Michelle. What a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Michelle. <laughs> I know, I know. We've been sha sha all day. Sha sha. We have sha sha and Scooby Dooby Dooing. Uh -huh. Scooby Dooby Dooing. <laughs> it's a thing. You can make it a thing. Um, we find ourselves. Uh, I I like, I like the first fifty lessons in A Course in Miracles, Miracles yeah. a lot. Yeah. And there are some people, as you, as we know, that just do the fifty lessons over and over again, mm -hmm. which is like a, a real thing that happens. Well, if you're following along, uh, since we're on February fifth, we're uh, on today. Yeah. Today's February fifth, so we're on lesson. We're actually on lesson thirty six, but we're gonna start back a couple of days because. The way yeah. it leads up to it, I think, is so. Cool. Tell us what. Uh, to, we so we're going to go back to lesson thirty-three because it starts the roll. Yeah, it kind of starts this roll that we're on. There, there is, is another, another way of looking, looking at, at the, the world. world. <laughs> uh -huh. And then the next day, thirty-four is I could see peace instead of this. which is the which is where it brings us where where Michelle was mm -hmm. the whole yeah. thing today. It's in the air, people. It's in the water. Uh -huh. The sorrel tea, as the case may be. Well, and I, I even had a little chant I made. Um, there is another way of looking at the world. I could see peace instead of this. There is another way of looking at the world. I can see peace instead of this. So, you know, I always make little songs to help me remember. Then after I can see peace instead of this, we've got my mind is part of God's I am very holy. Two sentences. I am very holy. My mind is part of God's possessive. Yeah. God's. Mm -hmm. My mind is part of God's mind. Mm -hmm. I am very, very holy. holy. I am. Wow. Claim the I am. So I am very holy. That's a great <laughs> affirmation. <laughs> I, I just said the water. So okay. Good. And then today. My, is lesson 36 my holiness envelops everything i see or does it <laughs> yes it does <laughs> hi george george, hey, george. Has joined us hey, hey, hey. god is in everything <laughs> I, I see that's so so uh 
well, incredibly profound. I was talking to my friend, um, Reverend Shanda Rule, who's going to be on Sounds of Awakening, uh, and we were talking about this. My holiness envelops everything I see. And, uh, and we got to laughing because I said, whether we like it or not. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you're uh, uh, the approval. Uh, yeah, I, I, I want you know the approval of it all. Yeah, it's so funny. Uh, it truly. was really so. That's where we are today. My holiness envelops everything I see, and I see you. So here we mm. are. I know, uh, whole well, and yeah, complete. And I, thank you for being a, a bit uh, now, and, and I'm enveloped by your holiness. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So there we are. Yeah. There we are, enveloping yeah. each other in our holiness. Yes, I love it. All right, so shall we let's, try? Yeah, let's do this. Let's see. Okay. You're going to hold this. This is 13 and 14. Yes, I'm going to grab my guitar. Okay, so um, this morning, if you were in the sanctuary at meditation time, uh, Sina int introduced us uh, to the Radiance Sutras, and she read... Basically, the entire banter verses, which are the first few uh, verses, and I've been going about them very slowly and um, contemplating them. So I'm only on banter verse 13, 14, and I'm going to read it to you in English. Then I'm going to share, uh, you know, my um, music. But uh, first, let's ring the bell. Let's ring the bell and breathe and establish our circle of love. Oh, Anu is here. The hi, Anu. Here we go. Once again, we come into the sanctuary and experience this beautiful moment of co-creation where we co-create what I like to call this circle of love, this circle of unconditional love where everything that we like and everything that we do not like is included. What a joy, what a joy to know that we can learn from it all and grow from it all and that it is all here for our good. And as we share today from the Radiant Sutras Banter Verses 13 and 14, may we share this glorious blessing of unconditional love together. Blessed be, and so it is. All the stories about me are like tales you tell naughty children. The goblin is going to come gobble you up. <laughs> or else soothing fables mothers spin as they hand out sweets. Leave those fantasies behind. Let me tell you of the luminous path. I am beyond measure. I cannot be calculated. I am beyond space and time. I am beyond ancient and beyond the future. There are no directions to me. me are like 
like tales you tell naughty children The goblin is gonna come gobble you up <laughs> Or else soothing fables That mothers spin as they hand out sweets to me <laughs> thank you you're watching it happen live folks. it's so I never know what's gonna happen <laughs> I just pick a few chords and I'm like okay let's go I love it it's so fun thank you again Sina for introducing me to the Radiant Sutras and Rhoda mm -hmm. um, because we hear them mm -hmm. in the morning meditations too so mm -hmm. we just laugh yeah, and laugh and laugh we have so much goblins. fun together the goblins, know, the goblins. Sutra. <laughs> yeah well it, it, you know they're they're so lovely I mean it's memorable it, I mean now I remember it now I know yeah. the, now I have the concept in my head because I laugh right because we laugh and we enjoy and uh it makes this journey joyful and less like we like to say less precious you know less i'm not doing it wrong neither are you nobody's doing anything wrong you know i was having another conversation um with someone this week and uh, who f who felt like um they were just doing everything wrong and 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 i was actually embodying that too because i felt like I had done something wrong to them and so we were we were talking about that and it was at the end of the conversation we both understood that nobody did anything wrong and that we absolutely were just um, you know finding our way <laughs> into the oneness <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so that was that was helpful and that was good I mean uh, not always do um, conflicts if you want to say that um end up with a with a discussion that is healing you know and so i really felt like that was um that was really helpful on my particular growth path so <laughs> uh, it, this this practice has a way of getting into all of all of our lives yeah. right the it, it isn't you don't say oh i'm, I'm not going to I'm not going to uh, apply these principles to conversations with my best friend. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to apply these conversations to work or to play or something like that. Or, you know, this, it doesn't work on my mom. Right. These, the, wow. All these concepts that it doesn't work on my mom. Right. Wow. Well, we, we, when we begin to apply and understand these things, our whole perspective changes. And then we go, mm -hmm. Oh, I'm, I'm actually participating in this. And yeah. Wildly, wildly different ways that mm -hmm. I, I didn't I didn't know you know mm -hmm. I'm batting the ball back a lot I don't think I'm you know engaging you know but I am yeah know? it's interesting I, I mean and Glenn and I were having really interesting conversations this week too hi Ellen I see Ellen Yay. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> step into the light hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, we we've just been having really interesting conversations around uh, the house this week um, about being triggered sometimes by what each other says, but being able to talk about that and go deeper and find out like what investigate. Yeah, well, the know? the the belief behind the trigger that makes it a trigger, yeah. or like the yeah. way we. And, yeah, yeah. And, and so I'm going to be talking, you know, mm -hmm. about that uh, uh, tonight, or you know, in. in, in 
as, as a part of the lesson today, uh, chapter three is about uh, uh, an introduction or an understanding of the ego's thought process. The Course right. Miracle says, this is, you. let's first of all say, the problem that you have in the world is that you're, is in what, what we say around here a lot, is you're, you're, misunder, you're mistaking the thinking mind for yourself. Right. God, that for was so the good. self. You're mistaking yeah. the thinking mind for yourself Maybe. it doesn't make you yeah. bad it just means that just like you know if you look at and can pay attention what's happening you can put you're naturally don't want to do this because it doesn't work right because we're dis we're disposed to do what pay has payoff mm -hmm. now negative payoff is a thing yeah and so we that's what she's trying to get us to recognize mm -hmm. you realize that you're uh, uh in this uh, tantric experience and you're with your learning device and using your creative energies and your attention to create and support suffering rather than your support your own happiness because right. you don't miss it you're a, we're a misidentifying who's doing the creative and where this creation and where cause is coming from the of course miracles calls it level confusion oh, and the level true. confusion yeah. Yeah. begins at our fundamental misunderstanding and inability to even clock the ego thought system as it mm -hmm. parades before our eyes claiming <laughs> to be reality claiming to be us. Yeah. <laughs> claiming, yeah claiming yeah. to be us you yeah. know it was like it was my feelings were hurt mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. it's always losing something it's always like taking something away from me wow you know? yeah it's always always that sense there's always a sense of loss there that's so <laughs> that's really good so the, um yeah the image i used um and she introduces the uh the guy she calls it the guide and the teacher uh we she calls it and she is the holy spirit jesus me you know she said the, all these words are for what is rea the reality that is speaking inside of all of us mm -hmm. not just it's not the voice that likes us of course it's the voice that likes us mm -hmm. it's the creative voice that's actually having the experiences as, as watching the likes and dislikes happen that doesn't have an agenda yeah right the beautiful life that we all are this this incredible joy of oneness that's true yeah. so let's how do we the experience of that is happiness and so that is something that she wants us to say i can teach you to do that i can teach you how to develop that skill right you know so she's going to talk about remember uh we talked about last week about what's what's a good teacher <laughs> when you don't need one anymore <laughs> right when you don't need anymore. them anymore oh, right. so yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. what the Socrat socratic dialogues were about it was supposed to be you were supposed to ask your question get the answer and then go change your life so what a, so let's back up a little bit okay. so, so some folks are sort of new to how we sure. uh, approach a course of miracles first of all if you're new you know joining <laughs> welcome us. this is the beginning of the year you're you're great you're we're three chapters in yeah. chapter one talks about reality chapter two talks about um uh the problem chapter three uh, uh talks about uh, uh the ego and um uh, no chapter four talks about the ego well you'll 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 catch up we're getting there anyway i just wanted to to mention that those that may be listening for the first time or whatever that uh w this is where we uh study a course of miracles every year and go through different uh all the lessons because it's the teaching us about teaching. how to recognize yeah what is standing the obstacles to peace what is standing yeah. in the way of our experience of what what all the books and everything say is reality and it's happening right here and we just can't see it or we choose not to experience it because of our because of what we believe there's the obstacles to peace right. so we have an innate guide in us and that is what chapter four is about the illusions of the ego tell, showing us what uh, the thought helping us to understand that the journey and the process and the practice will be about letting go of and turning over the functions that we have given the ego or the thought system of the ego mm -hmm. and this is called right teaching and right learning so let's so it's chapter four the illusions of the ego section one right teaching and right learning if you want to follow along if you want to yeah if you want to follow along so anyway it starts like this a good teacher clarifies his own ideas and strengthens them by teaching them that's 
there we are. I think What's that's, the practice? Well, that's what we're doing, doing, right? Like, that's what we're doing right now. That's what we're doing in the sanctuary. Um, a good teacher clarifies his own ideas and strengthens them by teaching them. Uh, teacher and pupil are alike in the learning process. They are in the same order of learning, and unless they share their lessons, conviction will be lacking. Okay, that's a good reason for that's a good understanding for why we come and share our lessons or what we've learned. So every your week. mouth, mm -hmm. so it becomes difficult to act mm -hmm. different when your mouth is saying something else. Yeah. It causes a conflict in your own sense of integrity to say mm -hmm. one thing and do another, mm -hmm. to be to teach one thing and then not act like it. It becomes mm. more and more and more difficult. A good teacher must believe in the students to whom he offers the ideas. Right, so it isn't the idea of throwing pearls before swine, is it? It's no. everybody deserves my great, everybody deserves my presence. I must believe in the students. I must believe that what the, that the truth works and always works and is at maximal level. Mm -hmm. I have to believe that and act like it. So that's the thing. Teacher and the pupil, this is the learning process. This is the learning process. And the request is very simple. You heard it. Become teachable. Mm -hmm. Just become teachable. And this is what she means. This is means matching ends. This is part of integrity. Your mouth and your body, your body follows along. Your head is here first, maybe. Or maybe you take your body and your mind will follow. It doesn't mm -hmm. really matter. Both things work. Mm -hmm. Teaching builds conviction. The definition mm -hmm. of conviction in the Webster's Dictionary is the act or process of convincing. So who is she talking to? Who mm. needs convincing? The part of you that's not getting, the part of you that wants to get enlightened and mm. thinks it can do better. That's the part where she wants you to be able to recognize so we can give over that function to the Holy Spirit where it can be used and not own that process for ourselves. I'm the one that's getting enlightened. Do you see the difference there? Oh, illuminate that a little more. Perhaps. So teaching builds conviction. Mm -hmm. Conviction is the act of being of convincing. Mm -hmm. So who needs to be convinced? Are we talking about... Well, the, you can't the, convince the ego of anything, so... The, well, no, the ego, the part of you that thinks it's not enlightened, the part of you that thinks it's not in reality, who oh. needs to be convinced that I can do this? This is chapter four, we're at the beginning of the journey. We're saying, mm -hmm. I don't know if I can be happy. I've never been happy before. Oh. I don't know how reality works. Okay. I keep messing up. I keep stubbing my toe. I don't... I'm mm -hmm. turning to the voice within, the Wahi Guru, to, to, to help me learn how to separate what is real from what isn't real. It tells me I can, I can do that if I learn the thought system of the, of the ego. And that's what she says. Of the ego. What is the, the thought, thought system, system of the ego. You learn the thought system of the ego so you can recognize it. This doesn't work. I see. Okay, now I understand where you're going. So, okay. And that is because we're going to be learned to say mean, we're going to teach what we want to know. So we're teaching okay. means and ends. We're teaching the truth. And that builds momentum. So we begin to be convinced. It was like, oh, I can live this way. Right. Okay. So who the ones that doesn't who's the one that needs to be convinced? The one that has doubts. Uh-huh. So this is what we've been talking about, what I like to call belief in the miracle underground the miracle under <laughs> the underground miracle worker network. I gotta learn how to say that. The underground miracle worker network. Like Right, because the Holy Spirit's in charge. Reality is in charge. God's in charge. Uh -huh. I'm doing my part. I'm doing what is mine to do. Mm -hmm. And so is everybody else. And the Holy Spirit is, is the cooperative component that puts everything together. That's the anonymous quality of miracles. I'm not in charge of the entire plan and knowing how it's all going to work out and everybody and everything in order for me to take an action in my own life. Right. I do what is mine to do because it's mine to do. And I let go of coordinating or making sure it all works out the the anonymous nature of miracles i'm a part of the mir the the uh, underground miracle worker network everybody <laughs> is it's, it's like you know okay that's cool so that sort of prompts me to 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 um to understand that everything that is happening is a part of the underground miracle happening for your good network. If, if everything happens for right. your good then everything's a part then you're a part of the miracle worker network and so is everybody and everything, so else, everything else working together for your good behind mm -hmm. the scenes where you don't even know it and they don't even know that they're working for your good but they're working for your good because it's a secret miracle network <laughs> a secret miracle, miracle network could then easily be <laughs> discovered and not become a, <laughs> not become a secret anymore <laughs> It doesn't have to be. A it secret. could be an open secret. Yeah, an open we secret. We could open have there an open go. secret. Uh -huh. 
Okay. So um, that's that's the idea here of this teaching and learning, and this is how it develops. Go ahead. Learning means change. Change is always fearful to the separated because they cannot conceive of it as a move toward healing the separation. Okay. Yeah. All right. You believe that if you allow no change to enter into your ego, you will find peace. Nothing can reach spirit from the ego, and nothing can reach the ego from spirit. Because spirit cannot perceive, and the ego cannot know. That's interesting. They are therefore not in communication, and can never be in communication. Nevertheless, Nevertheless. the ego can learn, even though its maker can be misguided. Our right, maker, right. Right, okay. Spirit. Spirit need not be taught, but the ego must, must be. be. I will never attack your ego. This is this to me was we such a, a good beautiful discussion passage. On Wednesday. I will never attack your ego, but I am trying to teach you how its thought system arose. When I remind you of your true creation, your ego cannot but respond with fear. Ah, when I remind you of your true creation. In other words, your ego gets scared when you're reminded of your true Because it creation. knows it's, it knows it's, it knows it's, in that context, it goes, oh, then I have a beginning and a middle and an end. Mm. Oh no, that's death. The realization uh, that you have a beginning and a middle and an end is what dies. That's the thing that needs to be convinced that, to go along. Interesting. It's your learning device. You're not going to take your learning device to heaven. Are you? Well, heaven is in this moment. Right, and you can't take physical... Op- there, isn't, there isn't physicality in the moment. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Although we're living in a physical right. universe, so how do, you, how do you reconcile what you just said with... The, where there's a reflection. The, pro- the creative and what happens first is outside of the material world. The right. world is a reflection, is a reflection. Is the result of, is a, of beliefs, our, the oneness. Got it. Got and, it it's got a, it. and it's a choice, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And so she asks you to say, to say, look, 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 change is of the, uh, change, th- think about what change is and how the spirit looks at it and how the ego looks at it. Mm. This, to the spirit, change is learning. Oh, something different happened. I can change my mind. I got mm-hmm. new information. Mm-hmm. I'm growing, learning, changing, and growing as a human being and a child of God in this loving universe that supports my supports my awakening. Mm-hmm. And it's a he- yeah, change healing is healing. Process. You know, yeah. great. Yeah. That's yeah. that sounds that sounds healthy. You know, mm-hmm. it's not. But okay, you can recognize that thought system. It's really easy. The egos is resists change because right. change is death. Right. Change means the end of something and the beginning of something new that you don't know anything about. Right. So it's a very, very quick reminder. There's no different bodies feelings, right? So the reminder is the ego and the spirit don't communicate. And the ego can learn to see things differently, like we were saying in the lesson. The ego can learn to see things differently. Right. But it will never create. It's never, ever, ever doing the creating. And that's the juice of our living. That's where the oneness happens, the creation in this moment. And so the, we can learn to recognize the ego's thought system and let go of it or turn it over to the Holy Spirit. So the quest is to learn to recognize the ego's thought system, and which is the recognition of our own creative nature. Mm. She says wait, wait, wait. that we can dis, we can let by letting go of the ego's thought system, okay. we discover our own the misuse of our own creative nature. And it works the reverse as well. That's why you see so many artists on the spiritual path is because the creative, the create, our creative nature opens up and you know, examines, it reduces the ego's thought system. Our very creative nature does that. Oh, how so do you, do you have a Because the moment is creative, because the oneness uh-huh. is creative. Because uh-huh. when you're creative, you're actually, when you're in the generative, the only thing that is generative is what is real. Mm-hmm. The only thing that is generative is peace, joy, love, truth, things yeah. that aren't concepts, that do right. not require anybody's participation or maintenance in order for them to exist. Okay. That's satisfying. <laughs> 
when you're on that wavelength. I want to say hi to Jill. Yeah. Hey, Jill. <laughs> oh, so, wow. Read the read, read the next bit. Okay. So this so. is the so she's that's the character. So here we are. We're at the very beginning, and we're talking about the teacher and the per pupil and the learning process. How to become teacher teachable and learning the thought system of the ego. The, if, and the, learning the thought system of the egos is actually learning about our own creative process and that learning about how to me. recognize because you do want things differently honey right right no i know we but... do we do want things differently i i want to you know take this food back it's it, i ordered the chicken i didn't order the, I mean, well, well what i'm trying to understand how you're wording it is learning to recognize the ego's thought system you said is recognizing our own creative nature how, yes. How do you mean that? Because the ego understand. isn't creative. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. So what you're saying is, when you learn to re recognize the ego's thought system, you you then has, see that your it's own not creative that yeah, nature. That, that it's, it's not, not creative, creative. That it has a beginning, a middle, and an end. Okay. That it doesn't. That it's derivative. That okay. it that it borrows. That it that it changes. That uh -huh. um it creates. It it uh, doesn't create. It it interprets and chops. It chops up and dismantles. Yep. 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 Makes things smaller, cuts things up. Mm -hmm. Okay, as opposed to creative, what's mm -hmm. creative mm -hmm. is the wholeness, is oneness, mm -hmm. right? The forest. It's all many, many, many things working together. That any pull anything out, you mm -hmm. don't have a forest anymore. Right. Okay. So I think, I think I'm. I think I'm clear. It's, Does that confuse anyone? Or is <laughs> like everybody, okay. 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 We got it. All right. I just had a little question there because. Okay. So now we're going into teaching and learning are your greatest strengths now, because they enable you to change your mind and help others to change theirs. Okay. Wow. That's cool. Yes. You dream of a separated ego and believe in a world that rests upon it. Tell me that's not true for all of us. Well, sure. Yeah, this is a very this is very real to you. you. Yeah, if you are willing to renounce the role of guardian of your thought system and open it to me, I will correct it very gently and lead you back to God. Okay. That's why we have gentle healing. Every good teacher hopes to give his students so much of his own learning that they will one day no longer need him. Is that such the amazing example? That's the example? path of the Course of Miracles, too. Because the Course of Miracles yeah. is like you start out with you get this guide, and by chapter 31 you're going, oh my God, I'm the guide. <laughs> oh and my God, Holy Spirit, that's me! <gasps> You know, and then the book even thirty one chapters later, and then the book even says you can put this. Book you can down put this now. if you get it. You can put the book down. But we're we're on we're on chapter four where she goes. Um, you might be happy because you're not very. Ha you don't know what change is. You, you might know? not. You be might happy, not be. You might not be happy because right. you don't know what change is. You listen to all the wrong voices in your head, mm -hmm. right? You could listen. There is a voice that you can tell. That it's that it's that, the, that it's voice for God. One of the ways you can tell is it likes change. It's all about healing. Uh, it likes you, <laughs> and it it is trying to get you to be independent. Oh yeah, and take like, responsibility, take responsibility your, yeah. mm -hmm. to be to become. It's like it's like the apprentice relationship. You get so yes. good that you're open. He wants you to open your own shop and get out from under his shop. Which is exactly what Regi Regina did for us. Like she <laughs> was the teacher, right? That founded uh, this Awakening Together. And then she says, okay. And I'm one day, we, you know, we will no longer need the teacher. <laughs> this is one true goal of the teacher. That's exactly uh -huh. what Regina did for us. Um, it is not natural for you to want to obey um, obey any law any law unless you believe it. them. Right. Okay. So the goals of the teacher. This is like the this is how do we evaluate the voice in our head or even the the advice that we think we're getting or the journal the journaling and how we're doing. Okay. The goal of the teacher is to build. You hear, did you hear it? To build strength so that you can change your mind. To build mm -hmm. your strength so that you can change your mind. Mm. So that the teacher and outside influence is no longer necessary. Mm. And that's the Holy Spirit's one true goal. One true goal is that you become, you, you join the party, right? <laughs> and this leads to, like we were saying in the last paragraph, means and ends matching. And you, you, you teach what you want to know because your life changes in it. It's leading us to authenticity. 
Mm. It's leading us to our own integrity. It's leading us into this very delicious moment in which you, people can't talk, talk you out of being here because you get to do and be yourself in this moment. You cannot be, and you cannot be talked out of it. Mm. I can't be talked out of it anymore. I want to be here. I want to be who I am. Mm. I am. I want to see a reality. The reminder here, and she makes a couple of reminders, that laws were built to uphold illusions and belief. Mm. So look at the way we say laws, there should be a law, or <laughs> the laws we think exist, the laws mm. of the universe, or whatever like that. Examine what we think the laws are, and whose laws are we enforcing, and recognizing, and promoting, and supporting. And that leads us to the next idea. It's like, oh, I want to relinquish all of that function, the way things should be, and the laws that should. I should give that function to the voice, to the guide, to the apprentice. I'm apprenticed. I'm apprenticing under God, so I'm gonna. I don't have the you know, authority. I've, she, uh, she has to tell me how to, you know, do it now until I can do it well enough on my own, and I know how. To, and then I don't need the teacher anymore. I open up my own shop. <laughs> relinquish That's your cute. role as the guardian, guardian of, of your, your own mind. mind. <laughs> Turn over the functions that you're given the ego or the the world or whatever like that to the thought. And we can prove that the ego is wrong. You can mm -hmm. prove that you don't want that thought system by doing this. And it becomes easier and easier and easier. And she says this action, the results of this, is that the Holy Spirit will lead you back to God. Lead you back to God. All right, because we're, we're wandering off. Remember a couple of lessons ago, the moment is Eden and we keep leaving the Garden of Eden because mm. it's too difficult to be ourselves here. Mm. The promise is that you will be led back to God. You'll be led back to correct perception, to mm. heaven, because you'll be able to stand to be yourself, to be with the incredible glory that you are, the inner radiance that we are. You'll be able to stand it. Isn't that cool? The um, inner glory that you we are. are. I know. You <laughs> might be able to, you could, the difficulty I have with being present is that I'm fabulous. <laughs> I, I, I'm just, that, that's the difficulty in, uh, you know, it's like, there's the so, it's, it's. Tolerate the tolerate inner, the inner, the inner ravishment. ravishment. Yes, yes, oh, I yes. Know, yeah. From the Radiant Sutra. There you yeah, go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ravishment is such a good word. Isn't yeah, that, that such was a good a great, word? That was great. Oh my yeah. gosh. So love it, love it. there we are. The goal mm -hmm. of the teacher is to build strength so you can change your mind. That's mm -hmm. also parenting, as we pointed out, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the promise is you'll be led back to who you are to experience who the glory of who you are. Love it. Yeah, so keep going, sweetie. Okay, egos can clash in any situation. Boy, that's for sure. But spirit cannot clash at all. I will teach with you and live with you if you will think with me. But my goal will always be to absolve you finally from the need for a teacher. Wow, she's really driving this home right uh, here. Uh, absolve really? is a legal term too. So, yeah, truly. That's a, rela um, that's a legal relationship. That's interesting. Your worth is not established by teaching or learning. <laughs> Your worth is established by God. Teachers... <laughs> I'm just now thinking of uh, holiness. I everything. I am enveloped in holiness, and I holiness is holiness in, is in everything I in see. Everything I see. Yeah, your worth is not established by teaching or learning. Your worth is established by God. Teachers must be patient and repeat their lessons until they are learned. Children, <laughs> <laughs> your ego is never at stake because God did not create it. Your spirit is never at stake because he did. I know. So, so what are we protecting? So this is this is over and over and over again. It's like, hey, Jacqueline. Hey, Jacqueline. Yay. <laughs> so see, this is again. Where have we heard this before? Think with me. Uh huh. Think with me. Okay, this is the clash of the egos versus, you know, the underground miracle worker network. <laughs> that's the that's the contrast. You want to be in the world of the clash, the clash of the egos or the underground miracle network. So the Holy Spirit's goal is to let you let go of the, the, the all the functions that you've given the ego and join reality mm. where they don't need to be taken care of. It's already taken care of. Mm. You're doing double duty. We're doing double duty by trying to take care of and take care of the world. It's we're on the ride of this creation. We're not doing it. I'm not doing it. The warning in here is 
the belief in the superiority or inferiority of how it should look like or how it should be. Like it's better to be a girl than a boy or it's better to look this way or act this way or have this or not have this. The danger, she says, is our belief in it, that it's superior or inferior to be a certain way. Mm -hmm. It's called hierarchies of being. Right. Yeah. And so, and she reminds us of this, the remedy is the spirit is never in danger. Mm -hmm. So that's where we align. That's the truth. The spirit, who we are, is never in danger. So that's why we say, learn to think with me. She's going to help us make a good decision. Mm -hmm. Learn to think with me and not with the thought system that wants you to participate in creating and maintaining hierarchies of being. Right. That's suffering right. in the world and we can see it. We're maintaining it. So mm -hmm. go ahead, keep going. Okay, I want to Welcome. Okay, here we go. Welcome, welcome. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, the ego tries to exploit all situations into <laughs> forms of praise for itself yeah. in order to overcome its doubts. I have noticed this tendency. Yeah, in me. Yeah. Gu guilty. Right, right, right. Tries to exploit all situations into forms of praise for itself in over in order to overcome its doubts. I doubts. It's as doubts. a response to doubt, self-doubt, mm -hmm. as a response mm -hmm. to self-doubt, mm -hmm. forgive yourself. Just yeah. keep going. Yeah. The only sane solution <laughs> is not to try to change reality, yeah. which is indeed a fearful attempt, but to accept it as it is. You are part of reality, which stands unchanged beyond the reach of your ego, thank God, but within easy reach of spirit. When you are afraid, be still and know that God is real. When you are afraid, be still and know that God is we real. We were just listening to that song. We were, that was a beautiful song right before we came on the air uh, that Sina was playing. And you are his beloved son in whom he is well pleased. I know, so stop it already. Be still and know that God is real and you are his beloved son in whom he is well pleased. Keep going. God is not the author of fear. You are. That's good news. <laughs> I think that's good news. You have chosen to create unlike him and have therefore made fear okay, for she's yourself. she's talking, you know, do you see how the creative process, you see our creativity, mm -hmm. we do want and, uh, and our, cre we are a part of this co-creating with God. Read, mm -hmm. read the, mm -hmm. God gave you, God gave you. God gave you a very lofty function that you were not meeting. Your ego has chosen to be afraid instead of meeting it. When you awaken, you will not be able to understand this because it's literally incredible. Uh, God is inevitable, and you cannot avoid him any more than he can I love avoid this. you. I know, God is inevitable. And you can, listen to this last piece, though. <laughs> and you cannot avoid him any more than he can avoid you. Have you ever thought about, you know, about oh, that relationship? I know. God is not able to avoid you. I mean, like, there's no place you can run or hide or do anything where God is not. I know. So, I know. <laughs> so you can't be that annoying. <laughs> I, there's no way to be that annoying. You know, I don't care well, what this thought, the, the thought system is saying that no one wants to be around you. I mean, God has tethered herself to you because you're so because you're all this in a bag of chips. You know, so it's like, who's, who are we listening to? Can we recognize the thought system oh, wow. that says you're broken, you need to be fixed, this is wrong, it's not enough, it should be different, I've got to do this different, you know, and, you, funny. and so the teaching, what you know and what she says, the teaching and learning situation, it doesn't matter what you teach her, or, or, no, but, no, what is, I don't want to paraphrase her, yeah, yeah, she goes, uh, what, oh well, I'm probably talking, go, uh, <laughs> Let's keep going. That's okay. We'll just keep God going. God is inevitable. So the, this is about the creation of fear or the, cre or the use of the, cr the, the create our creative process. Okay. And it's a mad, it's about, uh, uh, imagining us believing in the ego mm. and the ego will exploit the uh, situation. We learn later, uh, in the obstacles to peace. And in other words, about confirmation bias mm. and about taking credit and about sending things out. You know, we only take examples that support our own misguided beliefs, you know, <laughs> the way that we learn that thought. So we're seeing that thought system, the request here, of course, you see it, let things be exactly, exactly as, as they, they are. are. Okay. And she says, if you do that, what you'll discover is 
you'll begin to fu fulfill your lofty function. And she says, you have a lofty function. She says, you, I have a lofty function in which I'm not fulfilling. And that it's incredible. <laughs> Acceptance of the atonement is what is mine to do, right? That is what's ours to do. It is the acceptance of our authenticity and our integrity and what is ours to do. And say, yes, I'll accept this lofty function, Father. <laughs> I understand you have an incredible job for me, Father. <laughs> my life will be about fulfilling my incredible tasks on the planet. Because you say, I have a lofty function. Are we going to like, accept this mission? Fear prevents us from accepting, accepting our, our function. function. Do you, you accept mm -hmm. this mission? You are an agent mm -hmm. in the secret miracle network. <laughs> Please accept if you accept this function. <laughs> right? Could be. You That's know? funny. That's funny. Could be. I love your, I love your, uh, you know, secret miracle <laughs> network. That's so cute. All right. So um, um, we're wrapping up. We're uh, getting to the end of this uh yeah, Ooh, this best. This, this is day. this is cool. The ego is afraid of the spirit's joy. How about that? That's true. I really see that in my own life. Uh -huh. The ego is afraid of the spirit's joy because once you have experienced it, you will withdraw all protection from the ego and become totally without investment in fear. Could happen. Release yourself and release others. Do not present a false and unworthy picture of yourself to others, and do not accept such a picture of That's them yourself that's really good advice yeah. so awakening is joy this cultivating joy mm -hmm. as a reality mm -hmm. and the request is simple withdraw your protection from the ego's thought system mm -hmm. withdraw your investment in fear right frightening yourself mm -hmm. release the ego's thought system to me mm -hmm. its creations its fear its limits all just you don't have to we don't have to think about them and explain them because i don't know what's going on here i just don't know what's going on i'm not going to act on it i'm not going to act on it I recognize that thought system. I'm just not going to act on it. That's all I can do. I remember I tell the story all the time. Because, uh, 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 Yolanda says, so uh, Glenn, what you doing? And I, I'm sitting at the computer going, all I'm doing right now is not smoking. <laughs> you know? Because like, if the, th the only thing you can do is like just not do the thing that your brain is like needing you to like jump out of your skin and do that you know it's the wrong thing to do. It's discipline. It's discipline. Well, you know, really so withdraw your, this is withdrawing your protection from the ego. Do not. And then she underlines this whole integrity and authenticity thing. She says, do not present a false or unworthy picture of yourself to others. Mm. Again, with that means and means and ends again, with the doing and the saying, <laughs> yeah. do not present a false or, or unworthy, unworthy picture, picture of, of yourself, yourself to others. others. Don't talk down about yourself to others. Or to and do not people. accept a picture of uh -huh. them. Yeah, and uh, un, un, don't know, believe people when they tell you about them, you know, that when they tell you how awful they are. Just don't believe them. Yeah. So um, read, this, uh, read this last bit here. Okay. I will substitute. I will substitute for your ego if you wish, but never for your spirit. Hmm. I can be entrusted with your body and your ego only because this enables you not to be concerned with them and lets me teach you their unimportance. I need devoted teachers who share my aim of healing the mind. Spirit is far beyond the need of your protection or mine. Remember this, in this world you need not have tribulation because I have overcome the world. That is why you should be of good cheer. I know we're going to do the last chapter of Luke, so this is coming up. <laughs> save yourself, she says, and save others. Remember that? Mm. So this is the this is the bodhisattva mm. aspect of A Course in Miracles, and it's very close to my heart. Mm. As part of my vows, when I took when I took uh, uh, vows, is was was the bodhisattva vow. Learning the ego's thought system brings us that humility that allows us to act outside of that thought system, allowing us to shine our light everywhere. As spirit, as the oneness, we are living in the reality of heaven. That's the truth. We are actually the student and the teacher. We're always teaching what we believe. Be willing to be taught to turn our attention away from the ego's thought system and of protecting the body and of creating these hierarchies of being. That's how we can recognize we're getting off the path. We're not the only one actually doing this. 
there is the oneness that is doing it through us and doing it through everyone. Mm -hmm. And that is really the most reliable thing on the planet. Not the way things appear and disappear and have beginnings and middles and ends. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the Underground Miracle Worker Network. You've been initiated. <laughs> I'm Reverend Glenn Wharton, you know, your favorite editor's preacher. This is the love of my life, <laughs> Reverend Yolanda. And I'm so glad that you joined us for the Mighty Companions Hour. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness, that was fun. Do we have enough? Do we have? Uh, well, we can play a, a few minutes. Of, so we've been talking about the inner teacher and trusting the inner guide. And uh, I have a song called Wahe Guru, which Wahe Guru means that very thing, your inner, your inner guide. So um, this is the dance version. And if you feel like getting up and dancing, we will be. We are blessed. We are blessed. We are blessed. We are blessed. We are expression of the greatest of the greatest. The sacred mystery that eliminates the darkness from our minds.
I just wanted to give you a little taste of Why Guru. And thank you for joining us. And stay tuned for Herein Lies the Peace of God. See you next time. All right. <laughs>